Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of MNWA Top 10 Plays coming to you from the NWLA Tournament. Coming in at number 10, Jay Zimmerman ranges to his right and makes a nice play on a ball to get Shannon at first. Coming in at number 9, Jay Zimmerman again, this time ranges to his left to make a nice catch on the KWL player's hit ball. Coming in at number 8, Devin Nelson's walk-off home run against McQuan Wiffleball League would give the MNWA Gophers a 12-9 win. Coming in after Nelson's home run at number 7 is Peter Monsru's tiptoe catch and foul territory. Wow, what a play down the line. Coming in at number 5 is Jay Zerman's, or excuse me, 6, Jay's unassisted double play against BWLBP. Coming in at number 5, Peter Monsrud robs Jack Shannon of a home run. As you'll see on the replay here, ball clearly would have gone over the fence. Nice play there from Peter. Coming in at number 4, Devin Nelson, again, once again, playing the BWBPA, makes a nice diving catch one-handed, you see in the replay, gets full extension and barely catches the ball one-handed. Nice play there. Coming in at number three, back to Pete Monsrud and MWL. This time the McQuanderers, Mike Boyles, hits a ball down the line. Peter makes a nice stop and doubles off the McQuan runner at first base. As you can see on the replay, he just barely gets his foot in before the McQuan runner gets back. Coming in at number two, Devin Nelson again, this time on a little blooper, fully extends and make the diving play to end MNWA's game against Washburn. Nice play, full extension from Devin. Good play in the field. Can it be top? Yes, of course. Coming in at number one, Jay Zimmerman goes full extension against KWL, first up and then out as he makes the amazing diving play. By far one of the best wiffle ball plays I've seen in my life. Maybe the number one wiffle ball play at the tournament. We'll have to wait and see. Thanks again for watching.